Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So in my live video last week, I asked if you guys were interested in hearing stuff about the house that Ryan and I are building. So if you are, this is the first video in that series. Okay, so I'm giving anyone who's not interested in houses and bits and pieces like that, if you've already made it past the intro and you're still here, I'm giving you permission to leave now because I'm basically just going to be walking you through this map of my new house. That's 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 what today's video is going to be. It's pretty boring, um, but if you're interested in this whole series, I'll do videos along the way sort of showing you what stage we're at next and giving you a bit more information and stuff like that. So that's completely up to you if you want to come along on this journey, but you don't have to. I won't be offended if you don't. Uh, so this is our house. We're building in Wyndham Vale in Victoria. Um, we're building with Long Island Homes who are a smaller um, kind of builder located in Melbourne. Um, and this is called the Rio. That's the house that we're building. So if you want to go and have a look at it, uh, you can. There's obviously going to be photos in here. Um, all the photos that I'm going to show you I've already taken and they've all been taken at the Display Village. So um, they're not the house that we're going to have, but they're the plans that we're working on. Um, so I'm going to start... I've got my little Apple Pencil here, so I'll point things out as we go along. Um, so I'm going to start um, at the front of the house, so front porch. So we walk in, uh, and when you walk into the house, my favourite part about the whole house is that you walk in and you've got this sort of, like, wall bit thing. So you sort of walk, look in and you can just see this wall, which I'm going to have my gorgeous, gorgeous, um, I've got an old sideboard that was my great-great-grandma's. Um, so when you look straight in the window, straight in the door, sorry, and walk in, you're going to see this gorgeous sideboard. Um, you've also got two big cupboards at the front there, which is going to be storage. So you've got your cloak and your linen closet. Uh, so that's sort of as you walk in. When you come in here at the display home, this is down a level. It's not going to be down a level um, at our place. We're just going to have it all on one level. We've got our theatre at the front. Um, the theatre is one of those rooms that I'm fearful won't actually get used. I don't think that I, at this point, I don't think we're going to use it, but that's because I'm not used to having a second lounge room. So perhaps when we have a second lounge room, um, it'll be a little bit more, I'll find it more useful, but at this point I'm a little worried about it. Uh, so that's when you walk in the door and come to the left. If you keep going down the hallway a little bit and go to the right, you go into the garage. Uh, something that is a little bit weird about our house is that we don't have an entry door other than the roller door and the door from the house to go into the garage. So if we do want to put a a lawn mower or something like that. We've actually got to sort of like walk it the whole way around, but we don't really have a lot of lawn and Ryan, I don't mow the lawn. Ryan says he's fine to do that. So that's up to him. Um, so when you continue down, you've then sort of got two choices when you come to here. Um, if you go to the left, you go down into all the bedrooms. If you go to the right, you go into the meals and the living area. Um, so we're gonna go down into the bedrooms for now. So if you come around that corner, you go into the fourth bedroom. This is gonna be our guest room for now. Um, who, lo who knows how long it's actually going to stay that way, but it's our guest bedroom for now. All of the bedrooms have built-in robes and we're using doors on every single wardrobe. So our house is extra height, so it's going to be a bit taller. So we've gone the extra height on the doors so that we actually get the full use of the whole space. Um, but I find I get more storage out of opening doors than I do out of sliding doors. So I use, I like opening doors as opposed to sliders. Uh, so if you come out of the bedroom and keep walking down the hallway towards the back of the house and turn to your right, you're then going to see the very first change that we made in this house, which is we've added in, it's called a storeroom here on the plans, um, but what it's actually going to be is the server room. Ryan's obviously pretty big into computers and things like that, um, so he wanted a, a server room or somewhere to keep all of his server stuff. Um, so that's what going in, what he's going in there. Um, and it's going to be double insulated so that it doesn't make any noise. Hooray! Uh, so straight opposite that is our sort of wet area. So you've got the bathroom, the water closet, or the second toilet as I would preferably like to call it. Um, and we've also got our laundry. It's a very decent sized laundry. I'm very happy about the laundry. Um, and we've also got a super big bath in there for me. Uh, there are a couple of things along the way that were non-negotiables as far as I was concerned and a big bath was definitely a non-negotiable. I want a bath I can get into and, you know, try and drown myself in. Um, but unfortunately, a lot of the places we went didn't have those unless they were freestanding. We were very lucky and we found a bath that's going to be big enough and yet not going to have to be the freestanding kind. Uh, so if you walk back out into the hallway and keep coming down, you're going to hit bedroom three. Bedroom three is going to be Ryan's office. Um, so that's going to be where we put all his stuff. Um, very excited actually to kind of get 
get it in there and get everything sorted out. So that's sort of, I'm not sure yet how that, that room, that's the only room in the whole house that I haven't got planned because that's Ryan's room and he can do whatever he likes in it. Um, the next one coming down, we've got bedroom two, which is going to be my office slash studio slash filming space. Um, this is one room I cannot wait to get my hands on because I'm going to pimp it out. It's not going to be pimped out at the start. The start, it probably will just be a normal bedroom with the same desk and everything I've got now. Uh, but hopefully, sort of maybe within the first 12 to 18 months, I'll be able to get like a full custom office joinery cabinet kind of thing put in there, uh, which I'm really looking forward to. And then if you keep coming down, that's when you hit the master suite. So we've got a big bedroom back here at the back. We've got a big walk-in robe and an ensuite with a nice, lovely, big two-person shower, which I'm so excited about. Uh, so we made a slight change in this room as well. This actually in the display is a door you can walk between the ensuite and the walk-in robe. We've left, we've shut that off because I'm going to put my makeup desk in here. So that takes it out of my office and gives me a little bit more room um, to kind of have in my, my studio for planner stuff as opposed to makeup stuff. Um, so then you've got the ensuite and you've got the bedroom and we put in a sliding door here instead of having a window. And what that means is that we can then walk out into the backyard from our bedroom. That's one of my favourite things about this house and probably the number one reason we ended up going with it was because the bedroom's at the back. So it gives us that opportunity to be able to actually go straight out to the backyard from our bedroom, which I'm really excited about. So that door really adds to that. So we might as well sort of go out that door. So we go out into the backyard. This is then the casual living space or the our fresco area, I guess you'll call it. Um, this is all eventually going to be, are we going to deck it? Yes, we're going to have that as a deck. Again, that might not be straight away. That might, that'll be before my office, but um, might not quite be straight away. So that's going to be all a beautiful decked area. So we'll have a nice table out there and everything. And then this door here is actually a quad stacker. So it's the whole, basically the whole wall is glass. So it opens it up really lovely into the meals and living and kitchen area, um, which is really, really exciting. Um, so the big meals area here, we've got a kitchen here, which is a galley style that goes into our walk-in pantry. Um, in the display home, this is actually moved down a little bit in the pantries here. So this is actually like an island bench. Uh, but because we put the storeroom in, we've then made the walk-in pantry butt up. So the kitchen is slightly smaller, but I still think it's going to look really nice. Um, and we've just moved the fridge from out here to in our pantry, which is cool. Um, it's also one of those plumbed in ones. So I'm going to have fresh cold water whenever I want it. Very excited. Uh, so maybe back into the living area. The other thing we've kind of added which is in this it is in the display home but it's in the display home as a this is a fireplace these are actually going to be sort of that's going to be a bulkhead and this is i can actually put shelves there so i have a lot of a lot of knickknacks a lot of collectibles a lot of photos and stuff i want to put up um in in on display so these are going to actually end up being shelves i can hang some wood between and make it a feature um, so it's going to be sort of extra storage space in the living room and then basically you're back at that center of the house where you can go either way. Um, we are on a 448 square block, so it's not particularly big. Basically our back fence is here. It's a very small backyard, but I think we've made a good kind of having this big casual living area out the back has certainly taken up as much of that space as living space. Um, the other cool thing, sorry, I forgot one more. Um, this here, this bit here in the display home, it's a big window. Uh, the window is actually going to cost us a lot more than just putting in a door. So this is what I'm calling Jet's door. So it's going to kind of be the, the door that's for Jet to come in and out of. We're going to hopefully put a doggy door in that one. So he can kind of let himself in and out. At the moment, if he needs to go out, he needs to let us know. So I'll be very excited to have a doggy door so he can just sort of be, be a dog and go in and out whenever he likes. Overall, I love our house plans. I've, it's taken us, a, it did take us a really long time to find it and we found the house before we found the land. It kind of was like a back to front kind of thing. Um, in the end though, it's, it ticked off everybody's boxes. When I say everybody, both Ryan and me. Um, we both had things that we wanted, things that were negotiable, things that weren't. And I really wanted not only a, I wanted a walk-in robe that had enough room for me to put my makeup stuff in there and Ryan wanted the storeroom. This house really gave us absolutely everything that we wanted. Um, when it comes to colours and things, just so I can show you some of the things we have already picked out. Um, so I'll run through some photos sort of on screen at the moment. Most things in the house are sort of grey, that's sort of where we've gone. So everything's a slight shade of grey one way or the other. Um, 
Ryan's a bit worried that it's going to look too grey by the by the end of this. Um, I promise it won't because I will put pops of colour everywhere. The whole tone of the house is very green and very blue. That's sort of the colour scheme I'm going for. So the, the walls are all going to be cool greys and the floor is going to be cool grey and then I'm going to add in pops of green and red, green and blue to kind of add in that sort of differentiation. The other cool thing that is going to be a feature that we're going to get to is just outside this area here because it's such a small, like our fence is basically like right there, such a small little area it's almost too small to have a garden bed in so what we're going to do is put a vertical garden back here so it's going to have all my succulents from the wedding and stuff in there. We've been growing them ever since the wedding and I'm really looking forward to having them in there because I think they're going to look absolutely fantastic. But that gives that meals area a nice little focal area as well and brings that green in so it's going to end up looking really, really cool. So that is it. That is my our house that we are hopefully going to be starting building very, very soon. Like I said, if this video, if you guys enjoyed this video, I will make it into a bit of a series and we'll talk about the house um, probably not once a month but reasonably often when things are sort of happening and I can post updates and stuff on Instagram and Facebook. So if you are interested in that, please give this video a thumbs up so I know you did enjoy it. I know this is a slight detour from what we normally do here on my channel but I thought there was enough interest in it so we'd give it a try. If you have any questions about building, I'm by no means an expert at this point um, but we have got to this point. We should be titling sort of sometime next month I think so we're not too far away from titling and then we can start building probably sometime late May, early June. Um, I think the, the plan is that we probably be finished building probably this time next year. So probably not going to be in by Christmas, but fingers crossed, you never know. Building things can be interesting as far as I'm aware. I've never built a house before, so I don't know exactly what's going to happen. Um, so it's a bit of a bit of a fun journey if you want to come with me on this one. So that's it for today's video. Like I said, please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And don't forget to be subscribed so you don't miss any other videos. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram for any other house updates because I will do them on there as well. Hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic, fantastic week. And I will see you again on Wednesday. Sending lots of huggles. Bye.